So now let's make the music player responsive. Um, this example is a little more complex than the previous one because, uh, for example, here we have a header symbol that has other components inside of it. We have a sidebar. We have a bottom menu that has more components inside of it. We have a background image that is offset to the right. There's a lot going on, but let me show you how to use pins and fix position to make this design look consistent on any screen size. That is very important when you're trying to make a design responsive. All right, let's start with the header. Um, and this header, we want it to, we want this search bar to always stay pinned to the left, and we want this logout and the icon to always pin to the right. So we're gonna go inside the, uh, the symbol, and we're going to pin this uh, search bar to the left. We are going to pin this logout to the right, and we want the background in, uh, to stretch as the uh, browser gets larger, so we're gonna pin it left and right. But we're not done. Uh, let me show you what happens if we try to make the uh, the screen larger. Nothing. Why? Because let me explain how pins work. Pins work by pinning components to its parent. Meaning, uh, for example, here we have a header symbol, but inside this symbol, there's other child components inside of it. So everything here is being pinned to the header. Now we need to pin the header to its parent. Who is the um, the parent of this header? The home artboard. It could be an artboard. It could be a group. Uh, but anything that it's inside another uh, symbol, component, or artboard is going to be pinned to its parent. All right. So now let's select the header, and we're going to pin it left and right because we wanted to stretch as the browser gets larger. And now if I select this and make it right, there you go. Uh, the logout moves to the right because it's pinned to the right and then if you go to the left the search bar goes to the left because it's pinned to the left uh, let me show you what would happen if you don't pin uh, the component inside the symbol what will happen if you only pin the symbol and not the component inside of it let's uh, select this and everything inside of it moves and acts strange and it's not consistent at all. It's the, it just does whatever it wants. So that's not good. Um, that's why it's very important to make sure that uh, the components inside uh, a group, an artboard, or symbol are being pinned also. All right. Uh, moving on, we're going to pin this um, hotspot to the top right corner. So for the top right corner, we want to go pin it top and right. And this will always stay right in this corner. We want to do the same thing with this sidebar. We want it to always stay in the top left corner. So we're going to go to pins, top left. Uh, but it's also another thing we want to do with the sidebar. This is the navigation of the music player. So we want it to always be at the top of the screen. Um, so for that, uh, we're going to use a fixed position. We're going to go to prototype, smart layers, and we're going to fix this sidebar to the top of the screen like that and now let's pretend i'm i'm scrolling it, when i scroll down the page uh this sidebar will always remain at the top of the screen all right so let's do the same thing to the bottom bar because this is the control of the music player and we also want it to always be at the top of the the screen so when we scroll this will always remain um for example, I don't know, right here at the bottom of the screen as you scroll. All right. So let's select it and then fix its position. And boom, that's easy. Now let's apply the same pinning principles we applied in the header, but inside this menu. We have a lot going on here. So let's start with the playtime. The playtime, we want it to always be centered. So we're gonna go back to layout and we're gonna pin this to the center. But what happens when it pin it? It pinned it to the center, but remember, here we have a sidebar. And I want to pin this to the center of the uh, right side of the screen. So for that, we need to offset it a little bit. So we're gonna uh, expand the advanced options and we are going to offset, let me select it. Offset it by 48 pixels. And now it looks centered 
to the side of the screen that I want it to be centered to. Let's go back and let's do the same thing with these controls here. We're going to pin them to the middle because we want it to always be in the center together with the uh, playtime. And now let's offset it by two, uh, minus 230 pixels. And that will move it to the left uh, where we want it. Not here in the center, but here. So that looks good. So moving on, we're going to pin the, um, the song that's being played to the left. And we're going to pin these uh, icons here to the right. All right, so let's go back. And as I said before, now we need to pin the symbol itself to its parent, who is the home artboard. So we want to pin it left and right because we wanted to stretch uh, as the browser gets larger. And also we want it to always stay at the bottom. So then we need to pin it to the bottom. Now let's select the background image and we want it to, uh, as we did previously, to spread as the browser gets larger. And um, so we're gonna pin it to all these corners. And there you have it. So now let's preview everything that we've done in the browser. We're going to go here and preview in browser, and we're going to load up a, a draft of our design. Um, and we're going to play around with it to see how uh, all the components behave in the browser. All right, let's open it in the browser. All right, so everything looks good, except for the uh, bottom bar, because as you can see, I forgot to pin it left and right. So it stretches. So we're gonna get another one. So here we have the prototype loaded on the in the browser, and uh, let's see what happens if we make the browser smaller. Uh, the image shrinks. This stays at the bottom. This always stays to the right. This always follows the left. Same thing with the search bar here. Uh, it looks like everything is acting correct. And now let me show you the fixed position. Let's pretend that this is a super small screen and if you scroll the bottom bar will always remain at the bottom and if I make it even smaller um, as I scroll the sidebar remains at the top and everything else stays consistent and is placed where it should be